Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be speed running, building a multi-cloud cloud asset inventory, and we'll be pulling in data from our AWS instance and a GCP instance down to our PostgreSQL database so we can analyze it using SQL. Uh, you can connect up to any cloud instance, you can connect it to any data source, it's just the demo we're gonna be using today. Um, but I hope this helps. Multi-cloud asset inventories can be really useful for making sure your cloud instances are compliant with security or uh, yeah, regulatory, you know, uh, making sure that they're configured correctly. Or if you want to make analyze your cloud instances to make sure that there's any ways you could possibly be saving money or uh, checking for misconfigured uh, hardware that you're running in your instances. So anyway, let's just get started. Uh, today we're going to be running our our building our cloud asset inventory using Cloud Query. And uh, to run Cloud Query locally, I'm on a Mac OS here, uh, you just can run it with Brew, but it does, you can download it as an executable. So you can run it in a GitHub Actions or run it with Air, Airbyte or Airflow, um, whatever you wanna do. Uh, so it's asking me to log in here. So I'm just gonna configure. And here we go, successfully logged in, CLI authenticated. And now we need to initialize our project. With Cloud Query, we actually have an init command you can run to get your project up and running. So I'm just gonna run Cloud Query init, right? The source, which is AWS, and then the destination, which is PostgreSQL. And it automatically generates a file for us. It tells us which tables and data sources you want from your AWS instance and where you want it to go. So I want to pull in AWS S3 data and then we want to send that to our PostgreSQL database. Uh, you can see here we have our PostgreSQL connection string set as an environment available, which variable, which we'll be setting in just a moment. Um, first thing we want to do is actually start our PostgreSQL database. We're running it in Docker, running it locally, but you can send it to Snowflake, BigQuery, uh, SQLite, whatever data source or database you want, MongoDB, we take care of all the type conversions and can convert and send that data anywhere you want. Um, but today we're just gonna be doing PostgreSQL, good old good old standby. Uh, and then we'll be exporting that string as an environmental var variable so we can access that in our config here. Great. And to actually sync, all you have to do is run Cloud Query Sync and then the name of the file. So we're gonna be doing AWS to PostgreSQL here. And now we'll be syncing our data up from AWS down to our locally running PostgreSQL data. And we got some resources here. Woo, it's a good sign. Okay, so let's check that out to make sure that we actually have the data that we think we do. We're first just gonna list the first 10 S3 buckets that we pulled down. So I'm just gonna write a simple SQL command and just get the first 10 buckets from our AWS S3 table. Boom! Cool, not super interesting, but what if we wanted to list all the buckets created in the last 30 days on our AWS instance? That may be helpful for identifying, you know, new configurations we need to make sure are compliant, or we can even use it to figure out which old ones that haven't been touched for a while that may need to be readdressed. So I just wanna see between now and the last 30 days and group by our region. Boom, there we go. So we can see a five and east one that have been created in the last 30 days on my AWS instance. All right, um, what if you wanna identify buckets that potentially have public access, right? We can, we can query the policies we set on our AWS infrastructure using Cloud Query. So we can just check to see that the policy status is set, that is public is set to false. And we have no instances of our, our buckets being public, which is good. It's what we expected. All right, so we promised a multi-cloud cloud asset inventory. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is initialize a new GCP to PostgreSQL sync. So I'm just gonna run the init command with GCP and Postgres. And we have a brand new file over here that's auto-generated. And by default, we pull on the GCP storage buckets. That's fine for this demo, we're gonna keep it as is. And we're gonna be pulling that down to our Postgres data destination. All right, so we're just gonna run sync on that. And it's gonna load that data from GCP into Postgres. And I should mention, I'm Joe, I'm a developer advocate, I work at Cloud Query, um, and I hope you're having a good time. Um, all right, so we pulled in some resources, great. Let's do a check to see if that 
is what we expected. So let's check this out. We want to count the number of storage buckets per location in our GCP instance, similar to what we did with our AWS instance. But we could, since the data now exists on our own local database, we can do whatever we want with that. Great, cool. So we can see all of our GCP buckets grouped by location. What if we want to count the buckets by location and identify how many have public access, right? We want to keep those private as well. Uh, before, you may have to go into each different cloud environment and go through the GUI or analyze those differently, right? But now we can analyze all this data all in one place. Cool. One more. What if we want to retrieve bucket names, their creation dates, uh, and their cloud provider? So we're going to be pulling in from both AWS and GCP. Um, we want to write one query that does all of it. I think this is where the power of Cloud Query really comes in, because with you can do this all in your separate cloud environments, but especially when you're managing lots of different data sets or want to combine them into single queries or figure out all that information all at once, that can be really difficult. But with Cloud Query, since we are owning the data, we're managing that all on our own PostgreSQL database, we can just run a union on those two different tables we pulled down from AWS and GCP and run a query. Now you can see all of our, our bucket assets listed by the different cloud provider on our different multi-cloud environments. And that's it. Um, we built it on under a couple minutes here, and I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you found this helpful, be sure to share this, like it, let us know. And if there's anything else you want us to see us build, uh, let us know. Till next time. Bye.